Let's see how to install and use Jupyter Notebook. So first we will install Jupyter and then we will make a Hello World program of Python in it. So for that, first of all, go to your C directory and find out where your Python is installed. So for me, my Python is installed directly inside C directory. So you can see two folders for Python here. This is Python 2.7, this is Python 3.8. So I have installed two versions for different purposes. So for me, the path of Python is this, C and directly inside C, this is the folder. So whenever you will install something through command prompt in Python, you will go to this folder. So find out where Python is installed in your system. So you have to go to that path uh, in command prompt. Now, uh, by default, the path of Python is this. And sometimes it causes problems when you are trying to access this path in command prompt. So it, it doesn't let you access it. Sometimes that happens. So if that is the case, I will recommend you to install Python directly inside C folder like this. And it's not that big a deal. You can just change the path while installing. But if you're still confused and you're not sure how to do it, I have made another video on it and you can see that. Anyway, so this is our path. Now let's open command prompt. Open Windows main menu and search for CMD. Now make sure that when you open command prompt, open it as an administrator. For that, right click it and run as administrator. Remember that we have to go to the Python folder, which is located inside C directory, and you will go wherever your Python folder is located. So for that, first of all, let's go to the C directory. CD means change directory and double dot means that we are changing the directory and going one directory above that we are actually going, getting out of this directory system 32 and going in the windows directory. Press enter. And you can see that we have successfully gotten out of this system32 directory. We are in the Windows directory. We'll do that again, cd double dot and enter. And now we are inside the C directory. Now we have to go to the Python uh, 3a directory. So press enter and now we are inside the Python directory. So here we will go to the scripts directory. So once you have reached the Python directory, you have to go inside the scripts folder, right? This is the name of the folder. So whenever you want to install something through command prompt in Python, you will always do that inside this folder, inside this directory, scripts directory. So always remember this. Now we have successfully reached our desired directory. Now let's install Jupyter. Whenever you want to install something in Python through command prompt, this is your location. Always keep that in your mind. All right, now we will install uh, Jupyter using the pip command. So before uh, installing, we will upgrade pip first, and then we will install it. So for that, the command is pip3 install upgrade pip. Press enter. So my pip is already updated. Now let's install Jupyter pip3 install Jupyter. So make sure to write the correct spelling. It is J-U-P-Y-T-E-R. Press enter. So Jupyter is successfully installed along with all of its dependencies. Now that our Jupyter is installed, let's see how to open it. You can open it here or you can just close this command prompt and open it in the simple mode. This command prompt is actually opened in administrator mode because we needed to install something. So whenever you are installing something, you need to open the command prompt in administrator mode. Otherwise, uh, you can open uh, any simple instance. So let's open another uh, command prompt and open Jupyter there. To start Jupyter Notebook or open Jupyter Notebook, type Jupyter Notebook in command prompt. So just type that and press enter. So you can see that the server started and automatically it is uh, launched in your browser on this port. See, 
So if it doesn't appear, the browser doesn't appear, there is another way to open it. You can just select this uh, URL and copy it by uh, pressing Control C and then paste it here. So if you do that, the uh, uh, Jupyter will be launched in your browser. Okay, now let's create a notebook and create a Hello World program in it. So whenever you want to create a new notebook, you have to press this button. You can see here, new, click it, and then you can choose Python 3. Click this. So we got this error. Why? Because it is not letting us create a file in this directory. This is the directory where we opened our Jupyter Notebook. So since it's directly inside the user's directory, we don't have administrative rights to create a file here. So for that, let's close Jupyter. For closing, you can press Control C here. Close. Let's close it and then open it again in some other directory. All right, so it shut down all the kernels and terminals. Let's open Jupyter Notebook, but in some other directory. Let's open it in C. So it is launched here. These are actually all the folders which are inside C directory. And let's create uh, a file in documents directory. This is my documents directory. Let's create the Jupyter Notebook here. You can create it anywhere you want. So I'm just creating it here. Click on Python 3 and a new notebook will appear here. So you see there is no error this time because we have rights to create a file here, but we didn't have rights to create a file at the previous destination. All right, now let's uh, write a hello world program for a Python. So to run it, you will click here. This is the run button. Click it and you will get the output here. To save it, you can press this button here or you can press Control S to rename it. You can uh, change the name from here. There are a lot of options that you can play around with. And if you wanna close it, you can just uh, cross it from here. And if you wanna delete this notebook, this was the notebook that we just created, you can select it and delete it from here. So this is how you install a Jupyter Notebook and create a Hello World program in it.